Oh man, so I don't know how I feel about this one, but you know what? We're gonna make a video about it anyway because it does target a whole bunch of fan bases, and the one in particular that I care the most about, yeah, apparently we're involved. Okay, so our topic today is Zach Hyman. He's a guy who, if you follow any form of NHL media, you've probably heard of before. Why? Well, because he plays in the Toronto Maple Leafs, and the Maple Leafs are going out there as a team that everybody shines the spotlight on, and Zach Hyman, while not being an Austin Matthews or a Marner or a Nylander or a Tavares in terms of skill, it's the fundamental values that he brings that really make him a valuable hockey player outside of the skills. It's the willingness to go into the corners. It's the drive. It's the edge that he plays on that Matthews and Marner don't have, which is why his skill set complements that of the players that we mentioned before so well. He can play with Matthews. He can play with the top dogs. He's not a skill guy, but he meshes really well with those skill guys because all he needs to do is go into the corners, fetch the puck out, give it to the skill guys you could put in the back of the net. Boom. This is how Zach Hyman is able to create offense. Also, the willingness to drive to the front of the net, do all these things here that Matthews and Marner sometimes just don't really do all too much, he's a good complementary player to have. So much to the point that some people are even considering him to maybe making the next Olympic team, because of course they are. Either or, though, Zach Hyman is 29 years old, 6'1", 214 pounds, who scored himself 33 points in 43 games last season. Before that, he had 37 points in 51, and before that, he was a consistent 40-ish point guy, who probably gets about 20 goals a year. The big thing with Zach Hyman is that his $2.25 million cap hit has just expired. He signed that contract back before 2017-2018. It's been four years. That contract is now defunct. He is going to be a UFA, and the Toronto Maple Leafs, with their cap strap situation, are probably not going to bring him back. Which is why we enter the free agency talks. And when it comes to the free agency speculation, man... It really appears like some teams are going out there and making pitches, really big pitches, to try to acquire this guy. Let's go over onto what Elliot Friedman said on 33 Thoughts a few days ago. He said this all the way back a week ago, that Zach Hyman is probably gone. Friedman also said that Detroit is probably going to be one of the pursuers of this player amongst other teams. Now, we're going to go through another series of tweets here from NHL insiders talking about Zach Hyman to really carve out a narrative as to who could be going after this guy and for how much. The reason we're bringing this up is because yesterday, Frank Saravelli said on Sportsnet 590 that another GM told him he thinks Hyman is going to get a contract in the $6 million seven-year range. Oh my goodness, six by seven? My gosh, on pace for $42 million, eh? This NHL GM does not think Toronto will shop Morgan Riley. Toronto has a lot of goalie targets on their list, Darcy Kemper, a primary target, yada yada yada, we don't care about that. We're talking about Zach Hyman here. If Hyman goes out there and gets himself a $6 million by seven-year deal, color me shocked. Let's proceed. Later that same day, just before noon, we had ourselves an article from Kevin McGran on the Toronto Star who highlighted that the front runners for Zach Hyman currently are Edmonton, Calgary, Vancouver, with Pittsburgh, Boston, Florida, and Detroit also having interest. Hyman would stay in Toronto for a $5 million by eight-year deal with full no-move protection, but he's already gotten offers north of $5 million by eight years. Oi, 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 oi. So... Five million by eight. The reason that's significant is because Toronto is the only team that's able to offer him an eight-year deal. And if you do the math on that, five times eight, that's $40 million. What the other NHL GM said to Frank Saravelli, six million dollars by seven years. Sure, it's a higher AAV, but the years are shorter. So six times seven is 42. That is just slightly more than Toronto's $40 million contract that Hyman would probably sign should the Maple Leafs actually be able to afford that, which we've already established. Yeah, they're not going to be able to do that. But with this little piece right here, Edmonton, Calgary, and Vancouver being the frontrunners and Zach Hyman, things get a little bit more interesting when you start thinking about the Vancouver Canucks in particular. This is what Thomas Dran said about the Canucks and their interest in Hyman. My sense is that the club did not only express interest, it's serious interest in my view. This is not an exploratory feeler situation. Rick Dollywell said that the Canucks have made contact with Zach Hyman to express interest in the UFA. We'll talk about Detroit later, now don't worry Detroit fans, but when it comes to Vancouver, 
You know, this is not really the kind of guy that I think is a bad player. Zach Hyman's good, as I noted. He's got a skill set that works at the NHL level. There's a reason he's able to be as successful as he has been. There's a reason he's able to play with star players. But he's 29 years old, playing a style of game that isn't really the style that you're going to project towards being better or more developed down the line. He plays a style that is honestly somewhat replaceable, in my opinion, for other players on other teams. And sure, he may be really good at doing that style, but... If you're Vancouver, are you really willing to shell out $6 million for seven-something years on a guy that plays like this? First off, how in the world are the Canucks even going to do that? They have to sign Petey and Hughes right now. They have Besser coming up next year. I know that Sutter is gone. I know that Erickson, that contract is gone too. I know that we're going to have a lot of money coming off the books. But man, are you just going to go out there, take away all the precious dollars the Canucks have just freed up, and instead of using it on youthful pieces that can help out the Canucks when they're in their primes, like when Pedersen or Hughes or Besser are in their primes, Horvat is already entering his prime. The time is running out there. For a guy in Zach Hyman who was 29? This could be Louis Erickson 2.0 if Zach Hyman fizzles away in the same way that Louis did. And I'm being dramatic, yes, I know, but come on. If my hockey team is going to go out there, spend seven years on a $6 million AAV contract on Zach freaking Hyman, he's going to be the most paid player on the team. Brock Besser makes less than that. Are you kidding me? If the Vancouver Canucks are legitimately expressing heavy, serious interest in Hyman, then I hope to goodness gracious they're not going to go out there and say, okay, let's mortgage part of our future here, trade away some guys that could be very legitimate assets, and get Zach Hyman to a $6 million deal. Like, take a look at all the other $6 million contracts the Canucks have signed. Louis, bust. Myers, sure, he's good, but the contract is an overpayment. Zach Hyman? Is he going to be added to that? Ay, 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 okay. So, I know, nothing is set in stone. It's Calgary, it's Edmonton, other teams out there that are being front runners in these conversations. And, by the way, big coincidence there that the teams that are expressing the most interest are the ones that have faced this guy all throughout the regular season. Because, of course, Pittsburgh, Detroit, and all of them, they did not have to do that. Either way, though, we're also talking about Detroit, because for Detroit, you know, you're going out there in a position where guys like Franz Nielsen are getting big contracts. You had Justin Abdicator get bought out a while ago, and he still has that buyout penalty attached to your cap hit here. The Red Wings are in a spot where they've really set themselves up in a nice way. They have so many UFAs and RFAs to re-sign this offseason, and they only have two contracts going on until 2023. Dylan Larkin at 6.1%. Richard Ponick at 2.75, and Wyatt Newpower, who's getting $800,000, so pretty much a nothing contract in the grand scheme of things. The Red Wings are in a spot where they have options. If they wanted to go out there and do the, okay, we're going to pay $6 million for seven years for Zach Hyman, of all people, honestly, it doesn't really hurt the Red Wings as much as it would hurt the Vancouver Canucks, but it still wouldn't really be a good contract, in my opinion. Mostly because of the reasons that we laid out earlier. Sure, Zach Hyman is good at his job, but man, there are a lot of other players that do that similar type of job too. And if you give Zach Hyman $6 million, he's going to be the second highest paid player on the team behind Dylan Larkin. Do you really think they belong in the same tier? I don't. Detroit in particular have apparently been in these conversations for a while, especially since Elliot Friedman highlighted that a week ago in his 33 Thoughts article. But at the end of the day, you know... I think there are just going to be some teams that are going to go out there and maybe just overpay for this guy. If Toronto was not going to go out there, give him his eight-year deal for $5 million a season, some other team is going to shell out six-plus to get him. And when it comes down to it, I just hope that it's a team that isn't really one that can be hampered by this kind of contract, because Zach Hyman, while good, it's Zach Hyman. Go out there, get your money, I get that you want to get paid, every athlete needs to get paid. But for $6 million? Oh, man. Now, again, I have to make this disclaimer at the end of every video that we make. If Zach Hyman goes out there, he signs with Vancouver, and all of a sudden he is like a point-per-game guy, 70 points in 82 games, playing in the Vancouver Canucks top six. I'll eat my words. But the likelihood of that happening for a guy who's 29, not really getting any better, who is getting older too, and who wants a boatload of money for a boatload of years? Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't really want to do it. So, talk to me in the comments what you think about this entire Zach Hyman thing. Vancouver, Detroit, Toronto. If you're a fan of any of these teams, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. I hope you enjoyed this video of Trolls 99. 
and bye.